if you have a blood sugar of 100, which is considered pretty good, you have about five grams of glucose floating around in your bloodstream. That's one teaspoon of sugar in your entire five liters of blood at any given moment. If you have a blood sugar of 200, that's only two teaspoons of sugar in your bloodstream. When you drink a glass of orange juice, that's 36 grams of sugar right there. <laughs> Put those two things together. You're not going to absorb all those grams of sugar, but it's no wonder that the foods we eat that have such high sugar spike our blood sugar. The way your blood sugar peaks and troughs is when you're challenging your blood sugar by having exposure to sugar and refined carbohydrates. It doesn't take much. There's not a lot of sugar in your blood at any given moment. If you're avoiding refined carbs and sugar, your blood sugar is going to be wonderfully level throughout the day. I can't imagine three meals a day. If you have three meals a day, you should probably have some snacks in between just to keep your blood sugar level.